am not giving you cookie. Go sit down. Mm, hey, y'all. Bella. Go sit down. Not right this second. I have a, I have a cookie over here, y'all. She's having a little hissy fit about my cookie. I haven't eaten it yet, but she knows it's over here. <laughs> All right. Let me put my paintbrush back in the water again. Make sure I got it clean before I start. There we go. Okay. Hi again. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to do bows. And, and I have the sneak peek for the kit that comes out tomorrow. So, y'all ready to, are y'all ready to see it? So, we're going to do this bow tonight. And we're going to make something for mom. So, we'll have an extra one. I don't know why this thing is being weird. Okay. All right, here we go. So we're gonna do this, and then mom wants to do a bow with this. So can y'all see, aren't this cute? This is cute. It has um, purple, green, yellow, orange, and pink on it. I still have the glittery colors. Um, so I thought we'd add that to it. All right, let me show you next month. Are you ready? Here it is. There it is. How stinking cute is that? So it's this yellow and black mesh and the white and black. And what's cool is it's the... Um, what do you call it? It's not the tinsel stripe. It's the soft stripe. What do they call it? It drift. That's it. It's drift mesh. So, these are our two mesh. This is the sign. I stick and love this sign. Okay, let me show you the sign. How cute are the little bees? Look at them. How cute are they? Oh, Bella. This is our ribbons. So we we have yellow and white, black, and then the B with the black and yellow on it, and a yellow solid. Thank you. So what do y'all think? Isn't that cute? I love it. It's gonna look awesome. And April's kit is watermelon, and it is fabulous, too. What are you doing back there? She always has to go in the back. So we're going to do that tomorrow night. Put those away. They're trying to figure out where... <laughs> yeah, they're trying to figure out where my cookie is. And it's not back there. Oh, one of them has lovely smells. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, here we go, here we go. Bella, honey, it is not back there anywhere, I promise. <laughs> She's like, Mom, I know you have that cookie. <laughs> she is just so determined, so determined. Okay, get some zip ties out here. Oh my gosh. Okay, get a pipe cleaner for that one. And maybe we'll do a little rustic wire for the one that's gonna go on the mailbox. I love snow drift, right? Thank you. Okay. That. Oh, did y'all see? Look, this is the new custom sign we're gonna be doing. Look. Isn't it cute? It says mama, or you could do mom, mother, Nana, whatever you want, and then you put the kids' names on it. This one, of course, has my kids' names on it. 
And then um, there is four holes up at the top so that you can add greenery and you can add, you know, like a hanger, all the good things. All right. Now, let's do our lemon bow first. Oh, did you like it? Did you get all your supplies out? Have you looked at any of them? Dying to know. Tammy got her supplies for the retreat already. That's quick. We already have most of the videos done too. Thank you. All right. We have a lot of really cute lemon signs. You could do any kinds of little things on these signs. You did? Did you like it? Were you surprised by anything? All right, so we're gonna do six. And six. Yes, you see the glitter ribbon on the table. Mom wants a bow, so we're gonna do something with that for her. Okay. Whoops. I know this ribbon is so pretty, y'all. Look. It's got like this fine little fine glitter on it. Can you see it? See when you kinda I don't know, I can't seem to catch the light right, but it's very fine glitter. And it's glitter. Okay. Now, you see, where do you see balls? Oh, <laughs> polka dots. <laughs> okay. All right. So, let's cut a small tail. All right. <laughs> Oh yes, the bicycle wreath, right? I'm so excited. Now I'm going to take, and we're going to do, oh, uh, let's do about 30 inches. This is our tail. So I'm just going to dovetail it to fold them over. Remember, always cut up. So hold your ribbon up like this. Cut it like you used to cut the bottom of the heart. And it should always be coming to a point where that wire is. That's how you know you're doing it right. You will get yourself in trouble if you're holding it down. Hold it up. Because then you won't make a mistake and do the wrong way. It's easy to do. These little tails are actually going to just be in part of the bow. They're, they're lemons, girl. <laughs> she, everything has to be, you know, the ball thing. All right. This one will go ahead and do a longer tail. Like that. Oh, I love this yellow. Okay. You guys are funny. <laughs> We are actually, I did get some styrofoam balls and I'm going to show y'all how to make your own glittery ornaments for your wreaths. So we are going to be doing that maybe even this week. Okay, so we did two. So what I'm doing is I'm doing long tails, okay? And then when we put our second layer on, we're not going to have long tails. So we're just going to have these as long tails. You don't always have to use all of it for the long tail. So you see how long the tails are? Okay. We know you're the glitter queens. Oh, glitter ball queens. Excuse me. <laughs> I know you are. You are so funny. Okay. So that's just the basic bottom, okay? 
<laughs> oh my, y'all are funny. <laughs> Me too, don't you love the yellow? All right, hello. Okay, so we'll do the long tail with this one again. And that's gonna be it for our long tails. If you have too many long tails, I think the tails start taking over, so we're gonna do that. I know she might go into cardiac, or don't do that. No cardiac arrest, please. Okay. All right. There we go. These are a little bit shorter, not a lot. Maybe probably not even. <laughs> I don't have a defibrillator. <laughs> and she's in, um, you know, Oregon. I'm not anywhere near there. So I don't know how I can fix that. Don't, you know, don't have a heart attack, please. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're also going to do... I'll show you all these. Where'd I put them? We're also going to do some fun little stuff with these kind and make our own little carrots. And this is with that same orange paint that we have. And I'm going to show y'all how to make them quick and easy. And they're not painted by hand. So, I'm going to be doing that too. So, there's a whole other set of balls for you. <laughs> Alright. Now... We're gonna start this one with a short tail. Y'all are so funny. Okay, we're gonna do two of this. See the little short tail. I told y'all I was gonna start showing y'all some different stuff. And we were gonna have different kind of kits and things. I meant it. We are. We are going to have different stuff so we don't get stuck in a hole. Right? Okay. Cut this as an angle. Alright, now. Yep, on a string. That's right. Okay, again with the short. Thank you. There. I super love this yellow. Isn't it pretty? Okay. Now, that's a big old bow, isn't it? Now, you know these essentially would do a whole wreath, but I just like to do them because, you know, it's fun for us to do different stuff. So I'm going to do one more. Now these lemons are kind of all over the place so we don't have to twist them. We're just going to do one loop here in the middle. <laughs> I will tell you, so what you're going to need, and we're going to have packages of them unpainted. So don't stress and think you have to run out to Hobby Lobby and get them because Hobby Lobby charges too much. Don't do it. We're going to have different size sizes of these, and then um, jute ribbon, a little bit of greenery, and we're going to make these into carrots. So, mm -hmm. all right, so we'll just pull our zip tie up. This is the... Um, this is the Pro Bow, um, this is the, no, sorry, Easy Bow Stow and Go. Oh, she'd kill me if she heard me say that. Easy Bow Stow and Go. Oh, I got a question for y'all. If you could do anything to change the way bow makers work, what would you do? Like, what do bow makers do that you really think they should do but don't? 
so there's our indention. Okay, pull it around, make sure you're holding it. You see how thick this is, right? It's thick. Okay. Oh, they do, they glitter. Okay, there we go. So pull it really tight. Look how thick that is. You see that? Let's open y'all up a little bit. Okay. So we always start from the back, right? And we twist. Tie them. <laughs> how would I, I have to think about that? How would we make it so that it would tie them? Hmm. I'm putting this one in between. Then I'm pulling this one up. Keep the ribbon from flipping. <laughs> it's a trick question. It's not a trick question, I promise. You think the center bars are kind of thick and distort the center a little. Yeah, I think that's probably true. It definitely leaves more of an indention than you need, which makes it a little bit harder to fluff, I think. It's gotta be pink. <laughs> okay. So color choices. That must be one. Is that what you're saying? Adjustable center pegs. Oh, I like that. So you could make it bigger or smaller, right? That's a good idea, I like that. Okay. Somehow, this got off a little. I've got this one going down, this one coming up. Okay, we've got this one coming over here, right here. So this is how we're rounding out the bow, right? We can pull them up and then we can use these pieces to almost kind of mimic little loops. I like that idea. Something that holds it to allow the rolls to move. Hmm. I have to think about that. That's a good idea too. Yeah, because I was thinking there's got to be things that we can do to improve them, right? That's what I think. Because they all just keep coming out with the same stinking bow maker. Sorry, but that's just my opinion. That's my opinion. My opinion is all the bow makers are the damn same. So, yeah. All right, let's curl these up. So just thumbs right in there. Yeah, we could do one that was like interchangeable. You could do cats or dogs, maybe. Because I had someone ask about a dog kit, so maybe we could do both. Some dogs, some cats. inclusive there what we think oh isn't that pretty yeah. look how full that is so okay you like the roller at the end oh do tell Michelle what have you been thinking about Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah, I do like this size. I have to say, I really like this size. But these are kind of thick for me. Thank you. I don't know. 
I know there's something I want to change and I just am struggling to figure out what it is. Thank you. Okay. I like the adjustable option. Yes, an updated one, right? Same here. I feel the same way. All right, now watch. This is the ribbon she picked out. I gave her several choices. So when we pick out our ribbon, we're going to talk about how we pick out a black Labrador sign. Okay. We're going to talk about how we pick out coordinating ribbons. So in this, we have orange, we have green, blue, yellow, and pink, and white. So any of these colors would be good, but the predominant color here is white. So take white out. You want something that's going to offset it, something that's going to pull details out. Okay, so the green is good because there's actually less green than there is any other color. So pulling the green next to it means that green is going to pop out. There's not as much purple, there's a lot of orange. So you put that purple next to it and then all of a sudden the purple starts to show. So you see how this works? You pick out the ones that don't have as much. So yellow would be an excellent choice for this because there's not a ton of yellow. You see there's yellow. Okay. Pink would also be good because, you see that? There's not as much pink. So in this particular one, I would skip the orange. I would do the purple, the blue, the pink, and the yellow. Then the details of this ribbon are gonna pop way more than if you do the orange. This is how we do colors. Where do I have my, do I have my, here, like this, okay, I never even took my color wheel out because I don't really use it, but you see these, these are complementary colors, complementary colors, these are opposites, right, so these go together really well, these go together really well, these go together really well. These three go together. These three, do you see how this works? So complementary and then opposite. So that's how you kind of do your color. Wheel. That's why you can do different shades of blue and it still looks good because they're complementary. How many ribbons you want, Mama? One, one for the mailbox. No. <laughs> How many ribbons do you want? Oh, you mean how many different ribbons? Yeah. I don't care. Okay. You're the ribbon maker. <laughs> I'm the I'm the ribbon maker. Okay. We're gonna start off with this one actually. She wants it to go on the mailbox, so we want a little bit longer tails. Let's throw that in the ground because I hate dealing with the stupid. Especially when it's on a roll. Y'all, I kind of hate rolls. <laughs> Have y'all ever heard me say that? I do not like dealing with spools of ribbon. Hate it. I'd much rather have my ribbon just off the thing. Because I find that very limiting, having to constantly pull it. It's why I tend to throw it in the floor. Because then I have way more free range movement of the ribbon. Because it's not going to get stuck especially in the spool holder. Kind of makes me nuts. All right. Yeah. I know I've I've had it sitting down there forever. <laughs> what are you talking about? What did I miss? Okay. Pretty. Look how pretty this ribbon is. If you were going to pick mesh, what color mesh would you pick to go with this? 
a roller would stop that. Ah. Let's put purple in. I'm going to do this a little different. Right, so. Okay. A punch that could duck tail, that could do the duck tails. Oh! that idea. Okay. We've got two long tails, so we don't need another long tail. The color wheel, no, um, but it is on my Amazon influencer shop. I don't want to do long tails now. I want to do shorter tails. So when you're doing green mesh would be good. Purple or pink? Yes. Purple and yellow? Yes. Sage, yes, yellow and sage, good. Okay, so we do one of this one, right? So we did three, then two. We cut our tails a little bit shorter. Okay. What happened that you almost got hurt? We gotta do pink, because pink is Bomb's favorite color. Can't go without pink. Hey, Johnny, did you see Mama's here today? So we're going to make that one a little longer because we'll curl it. Throw that sucker in the floor. Maybe instead of it being up and down, the ribbon thing needs to be like that. Like that way. I hate the spools. <laughs> the spools. I know I should probably love the spools. I find them to be cumbersome. And let me tell you, this is the other thing, right? So most of the time when we get our ribbons, these little pieces are bent or mashed or whatever, and that annoys me. And then it kind of interferes when I'm, so I just take those suckers off. I'll just pull them off. So if you look in my stash, I have a lot of, uh, have a lot of ones without the little heels on them because it makes me nuts. All right, so now let's do the green. Look how pretty that pink and green looks together. So look here. You see why? Pink, green. You see why? Pink, green. It has another side too. I think this one might be the one to use for mixing colors. That's why I got this one. It's really good guide for mixing colors. I think that's why I got that one. All right. So. Oh, yeah, the glitter ribbon will do fine in the weather. Do you know how many glitter ribbons we've had in the weather? In the weather? Mom, tell them how the ribbons do outside. How do they do outside? How do the ribbons do outside? How many do I do outside? How do the ribbons do outside? Great. Did y'all hear that? Hey, we only had one in all those ribbons you made to fade. Yeah, we've only had one that faded, and it was because it was in July. One out of all And it was like red. Red, white, and blue kind of thing. Yeah, it probably would if my ribbon was on my mesh roller. But you know, I'm just... I don't think about it. Okay. There. So what we did is, we did three large, two little, one large, two little, one little, one large. What we're doing is bringing that focal ribbon back up. Yeah, I have done that before, put my ribbons on there, but if I have to twist things around, I've just found it better on the floor. So, all right, there we go. Let 
So you can see where the indention is. There we go. Yeah, y'all know when I plan things, right? About 30 minutes before I go on. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how, that's how, that's how my creativity works. I, most of the time, I don't know what I'm going to do until I get there. Planning is harder for me because it's just not how my creativity works. Okay. Pull it nice and tight. You had to cut off 16 inches. Was it a, um, off of the mesh? Was it all messed up? Yeah, unfortunately, it's not, it's not the person who's selling it. It's the manufacturer. So, um, a lot of the mesh is manufactured in, um, it's either in China or Vietnam or something like that. And sometimes it depends on where they get it as to what the quality is. It's awful. Sometimes they like run them together. I hate when they do that. That's so annoying. You know? All right. So... Pull this one down. Alrighty. Yeah. Y'all, you never know about these. But you know, there are ways. So if something happens and they give you, let's say that you get a mesh and you're in the middle of a wreath and you're just a little bit short. Do you know what to do? Do you know how to fix it? How to make it kind of not show? How do I use it? So this one's going to go on a mailbox. This one here will go on a mailbox. That one will probably go on a mailbox. We also have a um, little rocking chair outside. We put the bows on that. But a lot of them go either on our stairway. So this one will probably go on the stairway. And this one will go on the mailbox. So that's what we do with the larger bows. I don't generally put really large bows in the wreath unless that's the only thing I'm putting in the wreath. And sometimes I do that. Sometimes I do just put a bow and nothing else. Actually, so for the bow, okay, exactly. See, Teresa's been watching. She knows what to do. So you see right here, this is how I tie it onto the mailbox. So we have like a pole that our mailbox is on and I tie it on the pole just above the mailbox and then these kind of drape down over the side of the mailbox and that's how we do it look how pretty that is <sighs> what is this gumby thing what are y'all talking about another good solution yes Usually what I do is I'll either put the bow in that spot, I'll put the sign in that spot, or something like that. It's easy to hide those things, so if that happens, don't freak out if it happens. Just think, okay, that's where I'm going to put my bow, and then, you know, just put whichever mesh that you have a little bit of, just put it underneath that bow and just stick the bow right there. You'll never know it's missing. There. Ta-da! Bungee cord, yeah. So when we do the um, one across the mailbox, where we go all the way across, we do use a bungee cord. We sure do. All right. So we gotta go this way. I always have to think about it, because it's like, <laughs> it's like backwards of what I think it should be. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I gotta have a sip. And I did put the um, paint water over there. <laughs> so, uh, do you have anything that's up near... Yep, yeah, hide the bad mesh. 
do you have anything that's up near your house? Like, do you have um, lights on your, you know, anywhere around your house? Or do you have, like, anything on your porch, like a little rocking chair or something like that? You can hang the bows on that. Yeah. Look. What do we think? You see? There's the flowery one. There's the lemon one. Did y'all see the carrot? Isn't that cute? This isn't the one I painted. The one I painted is over here. See, it looks just the same. And I did it, and I'm not a painter. So trust me, if I can do it, if I can do it, you can do it. Because this girl is not the painter. Oh, let me show y'all this. Do y'all know what this is? What was that? I don't know. Oh, I think it was just the fence fell over. Do y'all know what this is? How many of you have used Angel Vine Reese? Have you ever used any Angel Vine Reese? So, Angel Vine, that little mini wreath that we've been doing, that's Angel Vine. So, you see what it looks like? You see that? That's Angel Vine. There's really nothing in here. Okay, let me show you how they make them. Oh, it was the little flowery thing. They take this angel vine rope and they hold it like this and they make a circle like this and then they just put vine wire around it and boom, angel vine wreath. Isn't it cool? You can make um, little, so you could kind of pull it out like this and tuck it and make little bird's nest. But we're going to be playing with some of this because this stuff is so cool. You know the um, the things that look like they have grapevine on them and then they have the fabric across them? Usually made with this stuff. So we're going to play with some of this and make some of our own little things. Because it's a lot easier. Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh, I think that's because she sent it out before 7 because I went on twice. Yeah, so we're going to be playing with this. This is fun. You can make all kinds of stuff with this. So. Alright, y'all. This was fun. Look, see, it's a lot like Grapevine, except it's a lot um, thinner. Yes, rabbit ears, exactly. And you can make your own. It comes in like... I can't remember if it's seven feet or nine feet, but it's really long and you can make a whole bunch of stuff with it. Yes, you can make different shapes like bunnies. So at the Dollar Tree, they have, I don't think I have one in here, but they have a uh, bunny shape and you can actually outline it in the angel vine and then you just use the bind wire to tie it on and you can make it into almost like a grapevine so how many bows can you get from one ribbon so most of my bows use between um, like between 6 to 15 yards of ribbon just depending on how big I make them these are really big bows right so this one probably has why didn't you use any whole roll on any of it? I don't know. I'd have to put it in my calculator, but this one probably used maybe 12 yards, but see how big it is, right? And there are ways to make your bows look bigger without using as much ribbon. So, yep. Yeah. All right, y'all. Well, I'll see y'all tomorrow night, and we'll do this little guy. Alright, so don't try to buy it until after midnight because if you do, you're not going to get the right one. 
All right, so this is March. See the little ribbons on the back? This is a uh, yellow and white plaid. And then the mesh. Mm -hmm. Drift mesh, look at that drift mesh. I love it. And then the black and white. This is gonna be tomorrow. I'm excited. This one's gonna be cute. I stinking love these little bees. They're so cute. I love big bugs too. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then um, April will be, April's going to be watermelon. And the watermelon's actually going to be pink and green instead of red and green. Because I'm, I don't know about y'all, but right now I'm kind of over red and green. So I don't even want to look at red and green right now. So we're going to do pink and green. Because that's way more fun. All right, y'all. Y'all have a great night. And maybe mom will feel good and we'll see her tomorrow night. Maybe tomorrow night we can, yeah, Sassy. Maybe tomorrow night we can fix the little bunny guy so mom can have him. All right.